like a hole. Rip as your soul. Rip rather die than give you control. Bow down before the one. You were so into this a second ago. Before the one, you. Yo, whoa, zombies. Welcome back to my channel. It is I, your new host, Ripley. I've killed Mikey, and I'm here to take over. Is that believable? Today, we're going to do DNA Picks My Makeup. Now, a lot of people think that I'm a Pomsky, but I'm not. Today, the test results will prove it. Pomeranian, you are not the father. This is top-notch entertainment. Let's start over. Thank you for letting me use you. By the way, her mouth is fine. She just got kisses earlier. That's all that's happening. She's an Alaskan Klee which is code for mini husky. Aww. And best girl in the world. Thank you. All that saliva, and it's not even going in the DNA test. What was that? Instant replay. It's not even. Oh, honey, you took off all my makeup. DNA is picking my makeup today. What does that mean? That means I'm gonna spit in a tube, make a test tube, baby, and get some results in the mail about who I really am. Who am I? Who is Mikey? I get asked quite a bit, who am I? Especially when I hit the trending tab. Everyone's like, who the fluff is this weirdo? And I agree, I don't know who I am. I believe I am German, Irish, and maybe a little bit of Welsh. But that's all I know, and that's my best guess. I must be Irish because ginger AF. I'm pretty sure I'm just really freaking white. But today, well, not today, but soon enough, I'll know for sure. I got this here test. Wow, it just looks like a white box, which is great because this is not sponsored, so no free promo for you. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's Ancestry.com's that was like a magic trick. Wow, this is starting off great. This is Ancestry.com's DNA kit. I've never taken a DNA kit in my life. I don't know how these work. I wanted to start it off with you guys, give you a tutorial on how to spit in a tube, and then we'll continue when I get the results back in a few weeks. So let's see what we got here. The inside of the kit comes with the science, a collection bag. Am I supposed to pee in this? A box to send it back in. Very convenient. And instructions. Let's learn. Do not skip this step. You cannot get your results unless you activate your test. Okay, got it. Go to ancestrydna.com slash activate. Oh, we gotta go on the computer for this? What the, can you go on ancestry.com slash activate so we can figure this out together? Oh boy. Oh, this is exciting. I can't spit very well. Is that gonna be a problem? I feel like Rose and Titanic. I just don't know how. And I'm waiting for my Jack to teach me. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, I picked Ancestry DNA over other things like 23andMe because I figured the smartest way to have it pick my makeup would be to look at my genetic makeup, where I'm from, what regions, look up the folklore of those places, see if there's any monsters or creatures, and either pick one of them or combine a few elements to make my own genetic monster. And since this one is focused more so on regions than like health, medical type stuff, seemed like the one to pick. I have had this kit for almost a year, waiting to do this video. I've wanted to do this video for such a long time, but because I knew I had to spit and wait, I've put it off because I'm an instant gratification kind of person. And in turn, that has left me with the longest time between buying this kit and getting gratification. The irony. All right, we're activated. I feel activated. Do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. Perfect, I haven't eaten breakfast yet today. It's 5 p.m., I'll get around to it. Listen man, intermittent fasting, and then being busy and forgetting about life. Fill the tube until your saliva, not including bubbles, is at or just above the wavy line. It's easy, that's less than a quarter teaspoon. Do not overfill! Okay. Yo, that's a lot. It wants me to spit up to there. All right. We can cut this part out. Uh -uh. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. You guys can't miss it. Titanic, part two. <laughs> oh boy. I feel really close to you guys right now. <laughs> can I help you, Peter? <laughs> What's so funny? We're leaving all this in. All of it. No, we're not even gonna cut. Mm, you wanna get in on this? <laughs> Highly interested. Oh, this is a lot of spit. Not including bubbles. It's all bubbles. This literally is the scene from Titanic. It's causing the same like visceral reaction in my chest. I think I'm getting lipstick in my results. What if they don't come back right? Because I'm like, it's tinted pink. I gotta be careful. How you doing over there, Peter? Great, fantastic. Get some dog DNA in there, come on. Who said that I should film this today while you're here? I did say that. You did. I wanna know. What's the most amount of spits it ever took to fill it up to this line? I feel like guys would be like one or two. For me, it's gonna take 20. I'm dehydrated. 
I definitely have flakes of makeup floating in there. This might ruin the test results. I can't wait to cut to the second time I'm doing this test. <laughs> mm, you know what I should have done at the beginning? Talk about brownies. I'll make my mouth water. We'll get there faster. Mmm, brownies. Oh, it's actually working. There's a lot going on in there. Wow, is, does spit really look like that? It's pretty gross. You can't see it, but it's not pretty. I think we did it. Okay, now what? Remove the funnel from the tube, screw on the enclosed cap tightly to release the solution that will stabilize the DNA in your saliva. Isn't it crazy that my entire genetic code is in this disgusting vial of spit? Ready for science, Ripley? Ooh, science is happening. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. That's science. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. This will ensure your sample mixes thoroughly with the stabilizing solution so our lab can best process your sample. Okay, watch out, I gotta shake. Place the tube in the collection bag. Ooh, very CSI. This is an exciting day. I like it. I've been waiting so long for this moment. And then you just put it in this little prepaid box that's going to Utah, and they're gonna tell me who I am, or what I am, or where I came from, and the secrets to life. All right, she's fully sealed and ready to go. To the mail. One thing I'm really curious about is if there's going to be any Russian DNA in me because I've been asked a lot in my life if I'm Russian, nothing else specifically, but Russian. And as far as I know, I'm definitely not. So I wanna know A, why everyone thinks I'm Russian and B, if I am at all. I used to walk around the casino with my cocktails and I only spoke in a Russian accent and I did convince a table of maybe two drunk men one day that I was Russian to the point that when I dropped the accent and started speaking like an American, they were laughing at how poor my American accent was. So, you know, expert over here. Maybe I am secretly Russian. You know what's not Russian? Me to spit in that vial to get this video done. By the way, everyone thinks that she is the pun dog. She's not, they just look a lot alike. Oh, I love you anyway, you perfect little specimen. Many months later. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, I'm so excited. Oh, I clipped all of that audio. We're back, and I'm so excited. Oh wait, Ripley, I need you, come back. You know what's crazy? Just real quick, this is crazy. It is months later, you guys, like many months, just like the title card said. And I went to pick out what to wear to film, and then I was gonna go for this black top I have that's like fishnet, it's pretty cool. I haven't worn it in a long time. And as I went to touch it, I was like, wouldn't it be crazy if I picked the same shirt to wear as I did months ago? I haven't seen the footage in months. I don't remember what I wore. And I was like, I'm not gonna pick this shirt. Turns out, it was that shirt that you just saw me wearing. Crazy, but it doesn't end there. Then I'm watching the footage back beforehand to know what I already said so I don't repeat myself more than I already do. And I kid you not, I talk about Ripley's face with the lipstick and the kisses, but before I saw the footage, this had already happened. I don't even do this to her every day. This is actually kind of a rare occurrence. Just filled with love. And at the same time, I was watching a video on YouTube about the time that Redditors felt like there was a glitch in the matrix. Aliens, that's what it means. Anyway, we're back. And I'm very excited to read my test results because I can't pick the makeup until I know who am I? What am I? Let's find out. I got my test results October 3rd. And do you know how hard it is for an instant gratification person to wait to open the results? Cause I wanted to film it genuine reaction on camera, but I was in the midst of Halloween madness. So it didn't happen until now, which is mid November. So let's see, what's my password? I don't know. That wasn't it. Nope. Okay. Well, I don't know my password to get into my account to look at the results. So this was a failed video. Goodbye. Just kidding. Is that in the edit? Cause that would be funny. So. Where I tell you that I'm gonna forget the password. Uh, a password? Special character. Yeah. I guess. Good thing that's recorded on camera because I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna have to look this up. Moment of truth. I just busted into my account. Oh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, wait. At first I thought this is exactly what I expected, and then it wasn't. Listen to me. <laughs> my parents got some splaining to do. This isn't gonna surprise any of you, but it does surprise me. How many times have I said to you, I'm a redheaded Scorpio German? Watch out. I thought I was like half German, like 45% Irish, 5% Welsh. I'm 5% German. That's it. Wow, these results are really boring. I'm sorry, I'm white as fuck, just as we all suspected. 48% Irish and Scottish. 46% English, Welsh, and Northwestern Europe. So maybe that, that is completely Welsh. Maybe I'm not English at all, but I've never heard English. Uh -huh. You should be able to touch it. Ooh, you. touch it. 
primarily located in Belgium, Channel Islands, England, Wales. So I'm English. I didn't know that. It's kind of fun. Well, cool. But mostly Ireland, Isle of Man, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. Munster, Ireland. Oh, appropriate, Munster. We're gonna make a monster. Huh. I love Munster cheese. It's in my genetic DNA now to say that I like Munster cheese. And I'm 1% Norwegian. No percent Russian. Not a one. Ooh, look. Primarily located in Iceland, Norway. I like how I'm so excited that 1% of my DNA comes from Iceland. It's my favorite place. Cool! But I'd like to come up with something a little cooler. I mean, th that part of the world is pretty old in terms of history. I feel like they have to have some pretty dope folklore, even though, ultimately, I'm still just generic white bread. Wow, I'm kind of sad. This is it? I was really hoping for a little bit of Russian. I thought I was way more German than I am. I'm texting my mother. You know what? No, I'm calling my mother. Uh, it's kind of late. Now she's awake. Hello? Hey, if you had to guess my ancestry, what do you think I am? Where's this coming from? Did you do an ancestry thing? You're so smart, Mom. Yeah, I did. German, I'd say, is the biggest. Maybe 35, 40%. Irish, maybe 25%. And there might be some Welsh. I'm 48% Irish and Scottish. I'm also 46% English, Welsh, and Northwestern Europe. I'm only 5% German. Huh. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, I think that I'm not. Eventually. Thanks for your reaction, Ma. Oh, you did not record this again. I'm filming, and I and I and when I realized I'm only 5% German, I realized I had to call you. You're too cute. So that's what I is. We've solved the great mystery of what an ambiguous face I have. And now you know that I am truly a ginger. Just because my hair got lighter with age does not mean that I don't have ginger blood coursing through my veins. Blue eyes. Freckly, if I allow the sun to touch my body, which is never because I'm also a vampire, even though I have no Transylvanian DNA in my blood, and carrot top red hair when I was a baby. Anyway, let's fast forward in time once more to when I've gotten all my supplies and I figured out a plan to make myself into some kind of Irish, Scottish, English, Welsh, Germanic, Norwegian, Icelandic monster. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, well, it is so many months later. Again, from concept to execution, this video has gone on over a year now, but we're finally here. It's the day. You can tell it's been many months because I have different nails in all three pieces of the video. Time has elapsed. I'm not gonna preface this anymore. Let's get into it. I know, I know, this video is already like 15 minutes long. We don't have time for this, but do it anyway. Okay, get out of here. After doing all the research on all of my family, ancestral, folklore, heritage stuff, I have decided to make myself into a hairy fairy fish. Hairy fairy fish. And I will tell you why. Starting with the nose. This is an alien prosthetic nose. You might have seen it once before on this channel. And no, there are no aliens in my ancestral folklore. However, there is this anglerfish looking guy. A marrow is a mermaid or a merman from Irish folklore. The lady marrows are like pretty sirens. The mermans, mermans, mermen, are ugly. Guess which one I chose to be. We're throwing out gender norms in 2020. If I want to be a merman, merman, I'm gonna be a merman. I've done a pretty mermaid enough on this channel. Time to be an ugly one. So I got this nose because this is kind of the correct profile and it is the closest nose I could find. I also got this forehead piece because my reference picture has a pretty intense forehead. I tried to make my own and I wasn't digging it so eventually decided to go with this. Marrows supposedly have a magical cap, I don't know what that means, in order to travel between deep water and dry land. But that's from Wikipedia so maybe don't quote me on that. Just trying to educate you all, you know? Okay, not, not my best right there, but we'll fix it. One of the earliest depictions of a marrow describes him as this grotesque green creature that kept a fisherman company at his home under the sea. Wait, so is the fisherman able to breathe underwater? Did he kidnap the fisherman and take him to the marrow's home? Would it even be wrong? Caught or be caught, am I right? Are you snoring on my lap right now, girl? Yeah, you are. It's adorable. Honey. <laughs> Dreaming about mermaids. I thought you said dreaming about murder. Likely. She's murdering mermaids. And then to finish off the marrow aspect of this look, I made a little chimp prosthetic, which has been a whole fiasco, because I finished this after an hour of making teeth, put a blow dryer to it, forgot to put it on the cool setting, and melted the front teeth again. 
Let's see if I can peel this off without messing it up. Glue it on my face. Hopefully it's dry. Cause after I blow dried, blue dried, blue, blow dried, blue dried? No. After I dried it the first time, I decided I was not putting it under the blow dryer again. No matter what. Freedom! Don't lick it, you weirdo. Oh, that almost stuck to my face already. Cause it's still kind of wet on the inside. <laughs> I just painted the inside of the gums because I know that once it's on, it's going to be much harder to paint that spot. Leave in the comments down below what your ancestry is. And if it's more interesting than mine, chances are good that it is. Oh, whoa, that really, whoa, that just suction cup to my face. Okay. This is going to be such a weird combo of things. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. That is the profile of a fish. Oh, I was smart enough to think to paint the inside of this because it was going to be hard to get to, but not smart enough to think to paint the inside of my actual lip. All right, cool. The last piece to actually make it more of a merman are these. They're little ears, but I cut off half of them. And I'm going to stick them to my face like little fishy gills. <laughs> They're kind of cute, actually. Oh, I like them. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stick them on and then blend them somehow. Something like that. Hello. I'm a merfish. <sighs> I know there's latex in there. <laughs> Nailed it. So I'm using a thicker latex and some cotton to fill in that these holes on the side. And then I'm using a really thin balloon latex to try to smooth over it a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. It is a monster after all. To, like stick a cotton ball behind this one because it doesn't stick out as far. There we go. <laughs> that honestly worked. Oh, cute look. <laughs> see if I can get away with that without it being so visible. Yeah, good party trick. She's a little asymmetrical, but she's not trying to be cute, so it's fine. Now I'm gonna try to airbrush my own face, which I have never attempted before. I've airbrushed many people's faces, just never my own. We're gonna try. I'm not gonna be able to talk through this because it sounds like this. Which is annoying. I need to keep my mouth shut, and if I get near my eyes, I need to keep my eyes shut, so how am I gonna- Oh! I forgot I turned it on. So how am I gonna do that and not- Okay, you know what? <laughs> Jesus. Alright, I guess we're ready. Oh, it's not on. It's residual. Wow, I forgot that happens. Time lapse time. I should pause to tell you that the reason I'm not painting this guy green is because I'm also incorporating the Lady of Death, which is an Irish folklore fairy that we will talk more about later, but it's like a dark, creepy character in my head anyway. This might be too dark, but I want her to be dark and spooky, so talk soon. well until I put black in my airbrush and for some reason the black paint even though it's made of the same stuff as all the other colors clogged up both my airbrushes I cleaned one completely and then it clogged it up again before I realized it was the paint and not the airbrush so you know that was a joy and this isn't quite what I pictured but it's what's gonna be because I'm not going through this anymore this video took over a year to make I'm ready for it to be over where's my it's this shit o'clock cup I feel like that's exactly what time it is oh oh Oh, that tooth is trying to jump ship. Do not do it, sir. I cannot afford any more issues with this look. All right, I'm not gonna touch any more teeth. I don't want them falling out. That's it, that's it, we're moving on. What else can I do? All right, I'm taking the Jawbreaker palette and wow! And I'm gonna put it around my eyes, maybe also lemon drop, to pull in the yellows on the tips of our little things. And I'm taking licorice and suck to brighten up and blend into the rest of the prosthetic. Not sure how I feel about any of this decision currently, but you know, we'll see. Might be back to the airbrush soon. 
Okay, so like I said, I chose dark colors because in Irish folklore there are also fairies. And one fairy in particular is called the Lady of Death and she warns families when someone's about to die. So this creepy fairy with quote loose hair and red eyes shows up to mourn the death of a family member. I guess before it happens. Creepy. Not a great sign. Basically you don't want to see me in your house. Wig. Fairy. Ears. Fairy. Horns. British folklore. The right man of South End. He lives under a bridge. He's the son of a mayor who committed adultery, so he was born as a rat. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. And for whatever reason, this rat man in our reference picture has horns like this. So I don't make the rules. I don't make the folklore. I didn't pick my DNA. And then lastly, to put the hairy in our hairy fairy fish, I am taking inspiration from the puka. They are one of the most feared mythical beings in Ireland. They are not puka shells from the early 2000s. Thank God. They're little goblins and they dress up and go out at night to terrorize people, which sounds a lot like me. So it all makes sense. It's built into my DNA. They have a long wild mane and their eyes are sulfurous, which means yellow eyes, but I already got the eyes covered. And they are, at least in some of my reference pictures, they are darker little goblins, which is also partly why I chose darker colors for this. But the biggest thing we're taking from the puka is its mane. I'm gonna add some hair all around myself, but I'll spare you the details and I'll show you right now because it's montage time. This is the future. Human error. This is the future. Wow, I'm really pretty. I would date me. You know, I've done a lot of looks on this channel, but I will say, this one feels like it's in a league of its own. Genetically, I might have turned out looking like I do on the outside, but I feel like, based on my DNA, this is what I really look like on the inside. This is like the most nightmare fuel I think I've done in a while. And it's funny because I avoided doing any German related folklore because it's such a small percent. And also because the coolest German folklore is Krampus. Turns out I just kind of look like Krampus. Okay, well, happy 2020. Good way to bring in the new year. If you're new or lurking, please subscribe because I look like a demon Krampus hairy fairy fish. You definitely look like you're in a death metal band. Bree, bree, bree. <laughs> this is what a year in the making ends up looking like. Like this video if this is the last thing you expected to see when you found out that my DNA was white as it gets. Kind of like the exact opposite. Although, it's not the exact opposite if you consider I'm a ginger. This is exactly what I would expect, given that. And hit the notification bell even though it shows up as often as the percent that I am Icelandic. Okay, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. The camera's really far away today. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> zoom, just zoom. Pretend I'm zoom. Brush your teeth, kids. It's very important. You want them nice and white, shiny. Make sure you brush in the back especially because those are always harder. Clean, we neglect them often and we really shouldn't. They're just as important for good oral hygiene.